Hi, this is Dr. Laura Conover. Sorry about this weird angle, but I just set up an experiment here that I wanna show you that demonstrates the difference between a standard ground cord and a pure ground cord and the EMFs and the voltage that you're exposed to when you use a standard ground cord versus when you use the pure ground cord when you're using any electrical outlet, including extension cords and surge protectors like this one. So here's what I have set up for you. I have an EMF meter that will read the output and the EMFs that are surrounding any electrical outlet. And I wanna test what happens with the standard cord and what happens with the pure ground cord when it's plugged into the ground port on an electrified outlet. So let's turn this on. When it's far enough away that there's no danger of electrical fields impacting you, it's gonna have, hopefully you can see it, this green light. And most importantly, if you can hear, there's no tone. And as it gets into above about an, a electrical field that's putting out more than uh, 40 volts per meter, you get a caution because you're not really supposed to have prolonged contact or prolonged periods of time in electrical fields that are that strong. And then of course, danger is very strong one. So let me show you, let's just test this with nothing plugged into it. It's just like the outlets in your wall. It's electrically active and it's just waiting for use, but I don't actually have any appliances plugged in or being used. And still, here's what happens. As you get within a foot of it, you're already in that range where you don't wanna be for long periods of time. And as you get closer, you get into this danger zone. I hope that's coming through on the video. When you get about a foot away, it's just caution. When you get further than that, then you're good and you're not being impacted by these fields that are being produced around every electrical outlet. So the advice is to have at least a foot and hopefully two feet or more from any cord, even when the appliance is not on. So when you have your lamp by your bed, you wanna make sure the cord and the lamp is at least a foot, if not two feet or more away from you as you sleep all night long, because otherwise you're sleeping in this field where it's showing you caution. And that's with nothing plugged in and nothing being used. So we wanna know do these ground cords get impacted when they are not using any electricity at all and they're not plugged into the electrical ports, just the ground port, are these cords impacted by these electromagnetic fields? Let's try. We're gonna just plug in a standard ground cord, which is what most people use. It's what all other companies sell with their grounding tools. And let's see what that does. We're gonna plug it in only to the ground port on an outlet. And obviously if we put the meter around here, it's gonna read high because the strip itself is gonna impact it. So we're gonna follow the cord out to the clip and see if that changes the reading. And obviously if this isn't plugged in, the reading should be, hopefully you can see it, it's green. It's fine all the way out here. Can you see that? It's fine all the way out here. So if it's not fine when I have the cord plugged in, it's because it's traveling up the cord. So let's try it. I'm gonna plug that in and you know it's gonna be high here. And let's try out here. Out here it is still now reading the caution. Can you see that? It's where you don't want to be for prolonged periods of time. It's not recommended for human tissues to be around electromagnetic fields that read caution or higher for long periods of time. When you're grounding through a standard ground cord, that's exactly what it's doing all night long. And it's going to do that to your grounding tool as well. Now it's all being impacted by these EMF fields. You have now a voltage running through this cord. You have an AC current going through and it's impacting this cord all the way up to your grounding tool. I wanna use my pure ground cord, which has a filter right here, which stops the current. The current from this outlet, this field that we're measuring will not go past this and then it has a special shield that goes all the way up the cord that's why it's white to this clip so that it can't be impacted by other outlets in the area if you have other cords and outlets even if I had filtered it right here if this was a bare wire like this one it can still resonate on the cord and travel up to your grounding tool so we don't want that so we want it filtered and then we want it shielded all the way up. And let's see if it makes a difference. Let's put this at about the same distance that that standard cord was at and plug it in. Same outlet, same grounding port, grounding pin. Obviously we know it's gonna be a high reading when it's near this strip because the strip is producing its own electrical field. 
So out here though, away from that strip, it's sh sh filtered and shielded. So it's not making that sound come on and it's not making the caution come on. Even touching it. Let's see, do you see that? It's neutralized, it's not going through this. So when I ground through this cord, I don't have that AC current running through my body. See, all the way up. Now there's no current running through my ground tool. And when I touch this cord, I don't have a current running through my body. So my body can just heal and be grounded and connected to the earth, receiving the electrons, but not have to neutralize the AC current that typically runs through all other ground cords. So this is what the pure ground cord does. It allows you to be grounded without having to deal with the AC current that travels through in contrast with other ground cords. All standard ground cords have no filter and no shielding. So when I put this up like that, you can hear that it's in the caution zone. You don't want to sleep all night long with your ground tool doing this to you. Okay, you don't wanna spend hours with this clip running an AC current to your ground core, grounding tools. Because your ground, when you're grounded, it will look like your AC current drops to nothing, but that's because it's now going into my body and my body is handling it. My skin is able to absorb this current and I do believe grounding is so powerful that it's better to be grounded, but best of all is to be grounded and not running an AC current through your skin because your skin has nerve endings. Your skin has capillaries, which means it's connected to your entire circulatory system, which means it's connected, it's going right back to your heart and the nerve endings are going right to your brain. And even your immune system is all throughout. There's more immune cells in your skin than even in your bloodstream. So my immunity, my cardiac and my neurologic function is all affected by an AC current when you are doing it for hours and hours and hours through a ground cord that is picking up AC current from an outlet. What I wanna do instead is either just go outside and touch the earth, earth directly, nothing to do with an outlet at all, or if I wanna ground indoors, I definitely wanna do it with something that has a filter right here so that the cord is not showing in the caution zone all night long and it's not running a current through my body. So hopefully that showed you the difference between why you may wanna choose a pure ground cord instead of a standard ground cord. Even when your outlet is not used for electrical purposes and you don't have anything else plugged into it, there is still an electromagnetic field that comes out of an outlet and affects any wiring through it, and that includes your ground cord. So if I highly recommend grounding outside directly, and I've got tons of tools and resources to help you ground outside, including the book that is going to be released in the spring that is filled with 365 days worth of grounding tools, ideas, activities, and fun things to do outside where it's natural and where we're meant to dock. But if you wanna ground inside, you for sure want to do it protected from the AC current that's going to be running through every single electrical outlet that you could possibly be using with your ground equipment. Protect yourself with the pure ground cord and if you have any questions leave them for me below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much.